You can tweet us at KTN News, at KTN Kenya, at me as well, at Lindo Guto. I'd love to sample your views. This is a conversation that the whole country is having as we wait for an amicable solution to the doctor's strike. Now, let's focus on the mass voter registration and the High Court judge, uh, Chachamwita has directed Kenya's Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission to continue the countrywide mass voter registration exercise up to Sunday, 19th February. The IEBC argued extending the voter registration timelines further would affect its budgetary allocations and preparations for the August poll, saying it has been using 70 million shillings daily to register voters. Patrick Amimo has that story for us. Yes. Now, what is a... On Tuesday, Justice Chacha Mwita directed IEBC to continue the countrywide mass voter registration exercise up to Thursday until a petition filed by activist Okio Mutata seeking extension of the deadline is heard. IEBC planned to close voter listing on Tuesday when the 30 days registration window was to lapse. Come Thursday, Omutata argued for an extension, saying many Kenyans who had not collected their national identity cards would be disenfranchised. There's a proposal to, to begin inspection of the register on 10th of May. I'm simply praying that we extend this registration to the 7th of May, three days before the 10th of May, and we'll be within the law of 60 days to an election. They would require that the IBC avails time for the inspection of the register. It is required by law, again, under the same section, that there is availed time for certification of the register. It is required, again, that there is availed time for the audit of the register. My Lord, these are all back-end processes which are as important as capturing the voter details on the first day when a voter presents themselves to the station. In the budgetary projections approved by Parliament, the first respondent has been spending about or approximately 70 million shillings on a daily basis on the mass voter registration exercise. We urge you to consider that they are abrogating their responsibility in respect to continuous registration of voters. IEBC plan to register 4 million voters on the lower side or 6 million voters on the upper side during the mass voter registration exercise. The commission said it was targeting 9.2 million Kenyans who had acquired national identity cards but are not enlisted as voters. But after a month, the commission has managed to enlist about 3 million voters. Omutata differed with the IEBC legal team on the need to mobilize more Kenyans to register. It is not in the place of the IEBC, the first respondent, to force people to register as voters. Theirs is to prepare an environment that is enabling for that exercise to be done. The IEBC Act, the commission is meant to be independent. IEBC is independent, yes, but it's not, independence is not equal to impunity. The judge took two and a half hours to analyze submissions from both sides and made his considered judgment on whether the mass voter registration deadline should be extended up to May as prayed by Omutata. The Independent Electoral and Boundary Commission is hereby directed to continue with mass voter registration up to 19th of February 2017 at 6 p.m., after which it shall stand closed. Each party do bear their own costs.